Hello and welcome back. We are going to be playing Mage Math today. If you have not checked this game out, you definitely should. It is available on Epic Games and also on Steam. It is super, super cool. A lot of fun. There's a lot to do inside of it. We're going to start the walkthrough today with the character selection and some other stuff. Uh, definitely take a look into this game. It uh, has a feel sort of like Prodigy. As you play it, you can go ahead and switch between boy and girl. There's a whole bunch of different choices that you can make as far as um, uh, different outfits, a couple sweat sweatshirt t-shirts, um, a few colors, and so you can go ahead and customize your character the way that you would like for them to be. I'm just going to kind of go through relatively quickly, but um, so yeah, here we have uh, what we're going to be wearing right now. Let's go ahead and click next and get started with the walkthrough. We're going to go through first so that we can play all the way through. Let's click, click play. Years ago, the math realms were peaceful. There was a society of mages that used their magic to keep all who dwelt in the kingdoms happy. That is, until Zeldin. Zeldin was brought up in the way of the math mage, but in his heart, he desired to do more with his powers. Instead of using his magic for good, he used it to create monsters. Once this was discovered, he was banished from the Math Realms. He swore he would return and seek his revenge. Time passed, and Zeldin was forgotten. Many years after his disappearance, hordes of monsters began to appear. The villagers were unprepared for these attacks and were forced to leave their homes. Zeldin made sure that all known mages were put in prison. The mage Cassandra, fearing for her safety, fled to the cave realm. While in hiding, Cassandra used her magic to create ten number stones. With the last magic Cassandra could muster, she created one final stone called the Seeker Stone. The Seeker Stone would search out the pure in heart who could wield the Number Stones to defeat Zeldin. A champion was chosen and transported to Cassandra. Inside the walls of the castle, the champion unleashed the power of the Number Stones to defeat Zeldin. Peace was once again restored to the kingdoms. Fearing the power of the Number Stones would be too much for any one person, Cassandra took the stones and hid them in the Math Realms. Whoever possessed the Seeker Stone had the power to find all ten. Knowing this, Cassandra hid the Seeker Stone in another world where she knew no one from the Math Realms would find it. Hundreds of years passed, and the Number Stones were all but forgotten. Strange things are once again starting to occur. Monsters are appearing in the Math Realms. In our great time of peril, the Seeker Stone may yet find another champion. What an amazing introduction. I absolutely love that. It's it's so gorgeous. So this game is a single player game. Hello, is anyone there? It's really, really cool. I love it. It's a lot of fun. We're going to head on over here. And so it is left click to move and then right click to do other interactions. So we're going to interact with the wizard. All right. It says, I thought I sensed someone. We don't get many visitors out this way. Have you come to help us? These lands used to be peaceful, but lately they have come under attack from monsters. Oh my, here comes one now. I can offer you a ward of protection. See if you can defeat it. All right, so the Ward of Protection is going to make sure we don't take any damage. And then this says you can cast up to three basic attacks in quick succession with each one becoming more powerful. In addition, holding the attack button will increase the potency of the next cast. Okay, and so here we go. The monster is coming. Go ahead and start firing with our right button. And then we're going to do some strong attacks here. And then 
right here. This is our strong attack uh, spell boost. So when that finishes recharging, the strong attacks really kind of do a great number on him. Alrighty. Oh, let's see. There we go. You really know your way around a spell. I may be too old for fighting, but I can lend you more advanced spells. Let's see what you can do with the elements of fire. All right, so here we go. Cast a fire spell. Ooh, look at that. That was insane. All righty. Crazy. That's so cool. Okay, so that is going to be our ones. Here's some coins. The coins we'll need for the shop in just a little bit. Very impressive. The monsters seem to be coming from the north. Let's go see. All right, so we're going to head up this way. Alrighty. Following the wizard. Such a beautiful butterfly floating around along there. And we're traveling along, taking a look to see where these monsters are coming from so yeah, it's a single single player adventure really really beautiful um a pretty open world as you move around and interact uh, I, I really really enjoy it the music itself is lovely if you see any more monsters try harnessing the power of ice all right so cast an ice spell is going to be number two so there we go so here's our ice spells and there we go, and we have finished it. So cool. When I've been going through my play playlist, uh, my, my walkthrough myself, I totally forgot about the number one, number two, so that's awesome. Over the years, my magic has grown weak, but yours is only beginning to sprout. The more you use your spells to defeat monsters, the stronger you will become. Casting powerful spells can take a lot of, out of you, however. Please come this way. All right, let's follow him over this way. All righty. All righty. And up we go. Okay, and here, this is going to explain what we're doing as far as uh, the tasks. This is a math house. Math is a very powerful creative force. It can even create whole worlds. In fact, it created this one. It is also the source of your magic. By practicing math, you can heal injuries and restore your magical energy. Go inside now and practice. I will wait for you here. Remember that it is okay to get the wrong answer sometimes. This is how we learn. All right, so let's go inside Alrighty. and practice our math house right now. And I believe you need to get 80% on the math houses. Let's have a pe pencil and paper ready. Two plus two, that is going to be four. Let's submit that answer. Correct. And seven plus four is the same as four plus seven. That is true. They equal, but they both equal 11. What is 5 plus 5? That's one of our doubles facts. Remember that. That's going to be 10. Woohoo! And then what is 4 plus 0? That is going to be 4. 4 with a little bit of nothing. 4 plus 3 is 7. Let's go ahead and submit our answer here. And there we go. Yes! Mastery achieved! Woohoo! Alright, so we scored 10 out of 10. We got some potions. That's awesome. Alright, and there is Cassandra who saved us. It looks like you feel better now. Completing a math house for the first time rewards valuable experience. Mastering the house will provide you powerful rewards. Hmm. And who might this be? Ooh, that's cute. 
During your adventures, you will come across noble creatures who want to restore peace to the Math Realms. They will journey with you for a time and help you fight monsters. Let us make our way to the east. I have something to show you. All right, let's go ahead and come over to the east here. There we go. And the map will show you uh, which not only which direction right up here, which direction you're facing, but also the monsters in the area. And it looks like we're having a battle here. is ready. Alrighty. So cool. We should keep moving. I love I love the spells. Love the ice spells and the fire spells. Super cool. There's really unique monsters um just the whole game. It's it's super super fun. Uh, as you get into the trees, I really like how they uh, sort of cut away from you. Okay, and we have some more here. So let's go ahead and get started with this. And then I'm doing our one and two spells here. Okay, we got one more here. And there we go. Let's make sure we get the coin right. before we talk to our guy over here there we go be on your guard love the fact that you can see the little dragon helper on there a powerful foe is approaching all right here we go and let's go ahead and start out with that start with that and then get a strong attack in here This guy is powerful, isn't he? All right, and there we go. That was a cool, cool monster. So I, I in my in my walkthrough, I'm only through the first area, so I've seen the first the first monsters that are in the first area. Um, this walkthrough has different monsters though, um, so I can't wait to make it to the other parts of the realm and find out find the other monsters that are in here. So really cool stuff. All right. Oh, so here we go. This is the village, which is really, really cool. We'll go ahead and go over the village in... Uh, this is Math Village. We'll go over the village in another walkthrough, another video. You can teleport to and from this place at any time during your adventure. Master the math games to restore your strength and become ever more powerful. Purchase items from the village shop that will help you on your journey. All right, so let's go ahead and talk, and um, he will give us a little bit of information about that if we need it. All right. This is my friend number one. Talk to him, and he will teach you how to explore the math realms. All right, we are going to... Actually, let's go ahead and talk to, talk to number one right now. I don't think it's that long of a conversation if I remember correctly. Thank you for helping save the math realms. There are a couple of things you must learn to save the math realms, so let's jump in. The first thing you must know is that within each realm you explore, there is a number stone hidden by the mage Cassandra. You cannot find the number stone until you have completed math houses hidden within that realm. Each math house will give you rewards and increase your math strength. To find the math houses inside the realms, you use magic dust. Magic dust can be purchased from the shop here inside Math Village. Once you have the magic dust in your inventory, Enter the realm by using your D-pad to teleport. The D-pad on the controller has some options for you. You can use the D-pad to teleport back and forth from the math realms to the math village. The D-pad also lets you quickly use potions to restore health. Pressing the right D-pad lets you access other options like your inventory, where you can recruit dragons and other friends to help you fight. In the inventory you will find the magic dust. When you use the magic dust, you will see a magical trail you can follow to find the math houses. The dust will not last long, 
so keep them stocked up so you can use them again if needed. Once you have found a math house, you will need to complete it before being able to find the number stone. To pass the math house, you must get 80% or 8 out of 10 correct. Don't worry though, it's okay to get wrong answers. You can play the math houses as many times as you need to to complete them. If you get 100% or 10 out of 10 correct, you will get more rewards and master the math house. Mastering the math house will help you much more on your adventure, so do your best to master each one of the math houses. If you get stuck and need a break, you can go to the other math houses to try a different math concept and then return to it. Many of the math houses you come upon will have a math video to teach you what you need to know for that math concept. If the house has a math video, you must watch the entire video all the way to the end before you can answer the math questions. You can also go back and watch the video as many times as you need to help answer the questions. When you find a math house, it will be placed inside the math replay in the math village to play again at your convenience. You can also go back to that house at any time by pressing the D-pad and using the quick travel as well. There are lots of ways to complete the math houses. Once you have completed all the math houses in a realm, you will then need to level up by fighting monsters and finding the number stone. With all the number stones, we know you can save the math realms. So, to recap, use the D-pad and get the magic dust from your inventory, then find the math houses and master them. It is up to you to help us find and defeat the darkness that has entered the math realms. Good luck. All right, so this is this is what we are going to be doing. We are going to explore the next area in our next video here. Alrighty. Taking a look at uh, math, uh, math, ma mage math. Apologies. I can teach a spell that will help keep you safe. All right, mana shield. Space is going to be what we use to keep ourselves safe here. So let's continue here, and. You can teleport to Math Village anytime you need rest. Now please go and save the Math Realms. The monsters serve some dark power that has awoken them. Who, whatever it is, it must be very strong and will not be easy to defeat. Hidden in the Math Realms are ten number stones that together have the power to banish this darkness forever. They will be revealed to one who is strong enough. Travel the realms and defeat monsters to find all the stones. Only then will you be able to face the darkness and restore peace. This portal will take you to the first math realm. Be brave and remember you are not alone in this fight. All right, we will be traveling through this portal in our next video. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Check out Mage Math. It is a one-time purchase, and it is an absolutely amazing game. If you like Prodigy, if you like RPGs, if you like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Magic, Fantasy, um, this is this is an awesome, awesome purchase. So uh, be sure to check it out. We'll explore this again in a later video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Check out MageMath.com. They have a whole bunch of other cool uh, stuff as well. <laughs> Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.